right guys, we found them. A whole bunch of maharas down there, loaded. Probably like two to three inches. Perfect size for uh, mangrove snapper. Let's get this net untangled and uh, make a cast. Let's see if we can't get on some, uh, some bait over here. They are loaded down there. Come take a look. Why oh, straight down right there? There's a whole, whole bunch of them right there. Hopefully it sinks fast enough. Let's see it. Here we go. There's a whole bunch of them right here, right below me. But it's pretty deep, so we're gonna have to let that net sink real good. But here we go. Got a pretty good amount of them. Wow, these, these ones are big. That's all right though. You can use them for snook or something. Looks like my net's torn up though. Look at that aerator. Loving this combo, man. This is like the best aerator pump right here. It's like 30 bucks, I think. The number B3, 100 hours for one or two D cells. Good stuff. It's quiet too, I like it. I'm gonna have to start buying this one here instead of the, uh, the other model. Flashes. I don't know what they are though. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. He hit it way over there, dude. That's cool. Little guy, little sneaky. Not the targeted species, but uh, I'd rather catch this than, uh, than nothing. Little dude. There we go. Nice little snook. I saw a school of them just like swimming by and I thought he was gonna get I thought he was gonna hit my bait like right in front of me but I guess my bait swam up uh, up current and a snook followed him and hit him way up there to the left of me a little bit that was pretty cool first fish of the day man not bad still have a lot of uh, mahara left decent one on the mahara Let's go. Oh yeah, he thumped it. That's a keeper right there. Cameraman's not even ready yet. I had to send the bait down there, man. Keeper. Keeper snapper on the Mahora. These guys are so aggressive, man. About time. Ooh. Good deal. Oh yeah, that's a good one, boys. Oh yeah, it's a big one. Let's go, man. Yes, sir, I was ready for that bite. Oh yeah. Solid mang, man. Look at that, that's like an 11 incher right there. 11 or 12. Good deal, man. That Mahara that I had out there was like two to three inches. Actually two and a half inches, big. I thought he was not going to get eaten because he was a little bit too big, I feel like. But apparently not. These guys can, uh, these guys got big mouths, man. The bigger ones do at least. <laughs> That's a good one. Let's measure him real quick. See how big he is. Zero. Yeah, 11 and a half. Oh, he's 12 inches. 12 inch mango. Not bad. We'll take him. Land base. <laughs> This is your land-based mango snapper. Not bad. The other one's probably 11 inches. 
So let me show you guys the mahara I've been using. That's the size of the mahara I've been using. You would think that that's a little bit too big, but nope. These 13, 12 inches will take that like whole. Just hooking them through its nose, just like that. Knocker rig, half ounce sinker. Just sending that bait like right, right up, un right underneath that, uh, right underneath that dock. That's where they're, that's where they're hanging out. Come on, baby. Let's get another one like the, uh, the one we just caught, that 12 incher. <laughs> drag is locked tight, guys. You don't want, you don't want loose drag. If you have loose drag, he'll take you right. In oh, here's another one. Oh yeah. Another good one. Let's go, man. Let's go. Another, that's a 11 incher right there. But like I was saying, you don't want loose drag. If I had loose drag, he would have pulled me around the piling and broke me off. Good deal. All right, we're gonna have to get pliers for this guy. All right. Good stuff, man. That's probably 11 inches right there. Chunky little guy. All right. So many four. We got three so far. I think it's been 20 minutes. We're gonna have to cast net for some more bait. I only have a few maharas left. But um, when I was getting the net, I had to double check on the bag limit for a mangrove snapper and minimum, minimum size. Uh, the minimum size has to be 10 inches and the bag limit for the day is five. So we caught three, three keepers, two more, and then we limit out for the day. And it hasn't even been 30 minutes yet. Let's get some more bait and um, let's just Crush it, man. They're here. Good size Mahara and pinfish too. But I think they like the Mahara better. Oh, these are all pinfish, really. Yeah, the majority, one Mahara in there. Come on, baby. Let's get another 12 incher here. Two more and we, we, uh, we limit out for the day. All right, man, I got broke off earlier. Probably another 12, 13 incher. Broke me off instantly. It got me around the piling. That one flew drag, man. Decent one. Another good one. <laughs> Let's go. Cheaper. Keep a man, baby. Barely hooked too. Definitely 10 inches there, that's probably 11. All right, that's the size Mahara we've been uh, getting them on. Big ones, man, big Mahara. Big bait, big fish, I guess. Wow, those, those snapper aren't that big. I mean, they, they get way bigger than that, but for inshore, you're 12, 13 inches. Pretty good, pretty good size for uh for inshore land base. Tap tap, the big one will come around and take it. That's how it's been lately. You get like small taps and oh yeah. There you go. This is our limit right here. Mango snapper limit, baby. Let's go. Good one. Oh yeah, barely hooked too. Stud. Stud man for inshore. Oh yeah, that's a 12 and a half inch all day right there, dude. Look how chunky it is. <laughs> Look at that, man. Chunky little guy, he's been eating. Been eating good. All the Maharas here. All right, that's, uh, that's our limit for the day, man. All right, guys, we just got to the flaying station. It's like 10 minutes down from the spot where we were at. But before I start flinging up the mangrove snapper, I just want to shout out uh, Connor from Sword Fishing Products for sending over this really nice uh, seven inch fillet knife. The handle is made out of G10. G10 is a gun grip material that is very ergonomic and it won't slip in your hand while you're filleting up fish. The blade is made out of carbon steel, which is way better than your regular stainless steel. It'll hold its edge. The blade has two types of coatings on there, Teflon and titanium. 
which will prevent rust in the future. Looking forward to using this knife. Feels really nice in your hand. This will be this will be the only knife I use from now on. It also has lifetime warranty too. If you guys want to pick this up, I'll leave the link down in the description box below. Cut behind its uh, behind its head and then run that knife. Run that knife down the uh, the dorsal fin, like so. Once you made that initial cut, just stick the tip of that knife in and just feel the bones and just run that knife along the bones, like so. Just like that. I like to take my time on it and try to get as much meat as I can out of the fish. Or I might just need to catch uh, catch bigger mango snapper. This is not a bad size right here. This mango snapper for inshore, just, you know, right off a dock, land base. That's not bad at all. Same thing with the other side. Cut behind the head. And then run that knife down the, uh, the dorsal fin, like so. You wanna make, a, make the initial cut first and then lift the skin up and then just, you know, same thing. Run that knife down the bones push the knife through there you go I usually just bust through the uh, the rib cage just like that oh yeah Oh yeah. Nice snapper fillet right there. Get the pin bones off. This knife just cuts like butter, man. Good stuff. Get the pin bones off this one too. Good deal. That's it. All right, guys. That's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see more mangrove snapper fishing videos, land-based, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I don't have my truck. I won't be having my truck for two more months. Um, it's at the dealership right now. There's a recall on the uh, third brake light. So they're waiting for parts on that. So I won't be fishing on the, on the boat for two months. We're just gonna be doing land-based fishing, whether it be um, mangrove snapper or snook fishing, uh, wade fishing. I really need to get back into wade fishing. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.